So, um, had a pretty quiet day on patrol, honestly, uh, or whatever. Um, here at um, River City Fire and Rescue. Just turning around our ambulance now to head back off. See what's going on, which is always pretty good that we're not getting much done. We're just gonna just give the fire department a hand here by putting this out because um, here at Fire and Rescue, we, it's really good because we have to train our paramedics to be able to use a fire extinguisher, just not a fire hose. So I've, um, I'm glad we were able to uh, help in some way there. But we are just gonna keep going around, see if we get any calls. So hopefully we will have a pretty uh, calm day today, if I uh, do say so myself. Oh dear, I think they're getting pulled over. Oopsie daisy, nearly hit that uh, BKM Munich there. That's not very good. Not much ever happens in River City, but this, to be fair, for this time of year, it's a pretty quiet day, oh dear. Why is he stopped in the middle of the road? Leave me alone right now. Alright, let's keep going. I try and stay out of trouble with officers, and yeah. Stop sign there. Keep going. Oh, okay, that police officer's going speeding down the road. Pretty uh, nice. Let me just turn up my. Okay, what? I. Whoopsie daisy. I, uh. One minute. So, let's keep going and uh, see what else that. Okay, well. The, the day will throw us. This is like a day in the life of a paramedic. They were always doing. Oh, okay, we may fall near the part uh, near the parking garage. That's bad. Okay, this is one of the most. This is one of the major calls we have to deal with. So we're hoping the patient isn't too badly injured. Okay, he's inside taxi and limousine. I'm just gonna pull up on scene. We've another ambulance responding. Trying to limit the amount of ambulances we have to respond, we have to send per. Alright, okay, we need to treat this guy. Check vitals, okay, we need to add the pad to his arm. And I'm sure we need another pad to do this. Okay, we have another uh, paramedic responding. Just treat the patient now. So we're going to inspect the patient currently. Um, see what the information it gives us is. Got plenty of people on the scene with us. Okay, they have a broken arm. So, we're just going to perform the treatment, but what I think's happened is they've fallen down. I don't know where from. I think, by the looks of things, they were doing a bit of uh, construction with the pain in the We need to get them to the hospital. She's still not really very good, but we're going to try and put the uh, patient on right now. Okay, here we go, we've got the patient, okay, we just need to be really careful with him. Get him to the ambulance and then we can clear the scene. Probably have to, uh, generally we have police, I don't know where the police are, generally we have police responding with us. Okay, we'll just head back in there in a moment, actually we'll come back to clear the scene. Just quickly take this guy to the hospital. Oh, okay, we just got rammed. There's some really reckless drivers here in River City. It's not good at all. So now pull up here. Let me just make sure. Okay. So the staff are just going to come out of the hospital now and take him out. So there we go. The staff of the hospital have just taken our patient inside. We're just going to head back to the scene to clear it up. So try and turn around here. Anyway, we're gonna go clear the scene right now, and then hopefully we'll be in for a nice, relaxing night shift. And, oh, that was a pretty nice turn. Pull on the curb here. Whoa, we don't hit that one. First. There we go. Okay, okay. We'll pick up our monitor. We just need to make sure that the scene's cleared off before the police can come and do a full health and safety check on the area. There we go, we're gonna 
collect our monitor and take it back to the car. I mean the ambulance. There we go, we're just gonna put that in there. And then I'm just grabbing another cone. I only got a stack of three. Here we go, we got another stack of cones. Put that one there and that should clear up that scene. We'll just take the other spare ones from this stack, put them back in. There we go, right then we're gonna continue on our patrol. Oh okay, right. See okay. Okay, so we are oh, I hate it when people fake to be injured in front of paramedics. It's just not very cool. And it makes our job a lot harder than it needs to be. Oh we ran that guy over. That's why they should not sit on the road or lie. Oops. Right. Let's head back to the station now. Okay, what is going on here? Just a little bit and oh yeah we got around that corner I am surprised as well okay we're here at the station now just start powering off the vehicle Parking brake on. Right, let's go inside. Got our flashlight. See how it's all going. Right, here we go. Just head up. Oh, there we go. Just got paid. Got the notification on my phone, and that's come through. Right, let me just go and. Um, what we have to do is you have to grab a bed. Right, there we go. Put my name card in that bed. There we go. We've now got a bed, which is cool. And why wait for a call guy? That's what I'm gonna say. Do go check out my new channel, Mystical Clips. As soon as um, I can, I'll be linking it in the channels tab on my channel. But until I can, then just go and search Mystical Clips or follow the links. Put my Discord server. All right then, we're gonna power up the old girl again. Oh, okay. Looks like okay, he's in that way. That's good. I think the police should probably be onto him. Um, any minute now. Oh, kind of cut the curb. Curb, sorry. Okay, let's keep going. Pretty quiet, all in all. Let's just go and grab some gas and then maybe a few little bits from inside to keep me going. But just pull up here. Just gonna grab the gas. There we go. We'll just go pay for it inside the shop. Here we go. Right, just, uh, yep. Yeah. Let me just use my card. There we go. Just. Oops. There we go, we just paid for that. And um, now I think we're gonna grab some of these. Here we go. Nice little coffee to keep me going. There we go. And there we go. Right, we can leave now. And continue our night patrol. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna turn out the corner. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We made it. And right, now we've got to reverse back in. And try and these ambulances are very hard to manoeuvre. The engine sounds a bit cranky as well. I've already get that checked out. We are just gonna go past these lines, but I do need to get somewhere pretty quick. So these vehicles do actually have a high speed, unlike people think. Because they do look like a vehicle that has a uh, pretty low speed. But we're gonna go ahead and a difficulty breathing near the farms. We are gonna head there. That will probably be our last call of the shift. I don't know now. Oh, okay. The ambulance is now smoking as well. So we have a lot going on right now. So this is not really going great. So this could be an asthma attack. We are really worried about it being that. That's why we need to uh, make sure we get to this call as quickly as possible. It's inside here, okay. is it around the back or is it inside here? Right, I think it's around the back of the car one. Just gonna maneuver around here. I'm just gonna go over this curb. We do need to go and find, find the patient ASAP. Okay, he's collapsed on the pavement. By the looks of things, there you go, turn the signs off. 
Right, are you are we okay, so right, we do need to put a monitor down there. Treat the patient. Let's just attach the vitals tabs. Here we go. That there we go. All connected there. Let's see, we're gonna inspect you right now. You're okay. Right, so this is where now we need to hopefully sort him out pretty much immediately. He's conscious, he's got a shallow breathing and a fast pulse. Yeah, this should be easy. Perform the treatment. If we connect him to some oxygen, we could probably put him in the ambulance and head off to the hospital pretty quickly, and then all the doctors and nurses there can sort us out. So they responded positively. Now we can just get them to the place. So they've got oxygen connected, like I said. We're just going to go get a stretcher out the back. There we go. Oh, this is going to be hard to get around. We're going to have to go this way, I think. Whoa. Have to jump. There we go. I'm just going to put the patient on. Sorry about that, sir. And we'll get you to the hospital and end our shift there. So, guys, thank you for watching this video as it helps out a lot. Please like, subscribe if you did enjoy. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.